podcast be sure to like share and subscribe talk with us in the comments uh, visit us on the website at www.helloadrian.org if you have a question comment or concern be sure to email us at helloadrian1 at gmail.com y'all know i am loving look i started to don't laugh at my size either i started to print these out so that i can um, not stumble across them because I try to remember it and then it's like oh I forgot and then it comes to me and y'all know I don't edit I edit me coming into the room and me leaving out I'm not going to edit my earring falling off but what I am going to do is I'm going to put it back on aren't these cute aren't they cute my pineapples I'm clearly channeling beach vibes, beach vibes because um I need to be on somebody's beach but you know COVID ain't letting nobody be great right now so I'm gonna stay at home and be cute okay um, all right, so hopefully that stays in. These are new-ish and I've not worn them before. So, and they aren't heavy, like on my ear, but okay, like I'm not editing any of that out. So this week's questions, question is, it reads, hey Adrian, my perspective has changed so much regarding dating and marriage since COVID-19. I find myself wanting much more, more much sooner than my original timeline. I'm 45 and well aware that things don't go according to plan, but what advice can you offer regarding dating during these times? Um, I'm kind of in the same predicament. I'm not, I'm not rushing to be married. Like, I'm not saying that you're rushing to be married, but I know that you, you said that you want more much sooner. Um, I don't know. I'm still going to say, take your time. Uh, with with COVID, what I'm noticing is that it's in, in like the dating part of it because you're like you can't really spend time with a person unless you know that, that me I ain't spending time with nobody unless I know that they are negative. Like, can you show me your COVID test results? Like, <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Um, but I feel like you can still go out and have a good time if you're safe. One thing I have to say about me in this like very present moment is I've had this unhealthy fear that I'm trying to deal with. It's, uh, you know, it's like that fear of doing anything and just really staying in the house because you, just because COVID, right? And then it's wanting to live, but also being, being careful. So, that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I'm not, I'm not, and I don't talk about my personal life a lot, but I'm not dating. I am not talking to anybody. Like I have other things that I'm focused on right now. So it's kind of a good thing, but I do understand, you know, the desire to have, you know, like your own person. So um, one thing that I have noticed is that in the dating arena, it's causing people to have, um, like real conversations from what, I mean, I can say real, but I'm hoping people are having like real and honest conversations because there's a lot more talking now than prior. From what I've seen, like I have friends who are dating and you know, I can go by what they've said to me and kind of what I've noticed um, other people doing. A lot of people are doing uh, like video calls a lot and meeting in like open air establishment so on somebody's uh rooftop or even in a park with a mask on social distancing ish um i've seen i've seen that um as far as um you wanting thing things much sooner I think that's natural um, because we're in such a time like we just don't, nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows what's happening. Everything is so uncertain and it makes you think about the things that you desire. And in this case, that's having your person and marriage. But I would still say don't rush on anything. 
Um, anytime I say don't rush, I promise you, I think about that TikTok don't rush challenge song. And I do like, I'll bust out into song at any given moment and that's what's happening in my head right now. But, um, but seriously, don't rush. Take your time as much as you can because if you rush into something and you don't know a person, like for real, for real, it could be, you know, it could not be a good thing. I just saw this um, thing on Facebook a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I guess. And they were saying that they had, they met and married in 15 days. They gave me so much anxiety because 15 days is to me is not long enough to know a person. However, comma, um, I mean, I've seen it happen, you know, in the older generation. And a few people my age have, you know, met like that and married and are still married. So, you know, it can happen, but boo, that gave me some anxiety. It gave me some anxiety. Uh, just like that show that I've actually been binge watching, Married at First Sight. Ooh, girl, yo. I, I just, I, I could not. I just, I could not. So don't rush. Don't, don't rush. Take your time as much as you can. Enjoy the process of getting to know someone. Uh, get creative in these COVID streets. I mean, if y'all are, you know, wanting to go out, do like a picnic or something just so you can spend time together. And I, I keep saying it, but just don't rush. Just do not rush. I have been in that place where I wanted things um, a lot faster than my process was going. And I can honestly say, I can look back at that now and thank God that I like did not rush into something because it would not have been good. It wouldn't have been good for me. Now it may have been good for them, but it would not have been good for me, especially knowing, you know, like knowing more about the people that you know, kind of wanted to rush. <laughs> it just wouldn't, it just, it wouldn't have been good, girl. It just wouldn't have been good. See, now the other earring fell off. These are, I'm not putting it back on. I'm gonna have on one earring the rest of this video. Yeah, I'll just have to deal with it. But um, don't rush. I can't help it. Don't, don't rush. Take your time. And I keep saying that because you really should just take your time and, and don't rush through it. Um, there are a lot of, um, there's this card game. I'm going to link it. I can't think of the name of it right now, but I'll link it below. And it, it gives you like topics. I can see the box. Oh no, that's Black Card Revoke. Um, it gives you like topics. It's kind of like a table topics, but it's something else. It's skin deep or something that kind of gives you these questions that you can ask. And they're really, really good conversation starters. And I think something like that would be good for you as far as um, getting to know the person that you are dating. But again, ooh, I'll say it again, for the love of everything, do not rush. Um, I think that's all I have today. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concern, like I said, please feel free to email us at helloadrian1 at gmail.com and uh, just check us out across the web. We are everywhere on every pod podcast platform. I will see you guys next Monday. Have an amazing week and stay safe. Bye-bye.